Hi everyone, today we will be looking at the process of binary fission. Binary fission occurs in prokaryotic cells such as bacteria. For example, like the E. coli bacterium we have here. It is a mechanism very similar to mitosis that occurs in eukaryotic cells. Like mitosis, binary fission creates two genetically identical daughter cells from a single parent cell. Those two daughter cells then go on to become four, which then becomes eight, and so on. This results in exponential growth of the bacterial population, allowing bacteria to increase their population very rapidly. So now let's take a look at how this happens. First, we start off with our parent cell, and prokaryotic cells do not have linear chromosomes, so here we have a single circular chromosome. Now before any division takes place, the cell must first copy all of its genetic material, so that there is two copies of the entire genome. Each daughter cell will receive one of these copies. After this happens, the chromosomes then tether themselves to the cell membrane. As the cell grows, the copied chromosomes separate and are then drawn to opposite ends of the cell. Eventually, the cell will grow large enough that a septum begins to form at the midpoint. This is the point where the cell will either remain associated to form a variety of cellular arrangements or separate completely and form two new daughter cells. Now, since they are both copies of the parent cell, these two daughter cells are genetically identical. And now the process of binary fission is now complete.